Welcome back. Kuka Garrett Sells, co-owner and artist with Richardson's Angels, joins me now. Kuka, please, let's start uh, a little bit large scale here. Tell us about your son, Richardson. My son, Richardson, was a wonderful young man. He loved being with his family, his sister, Anna, and his friends. He was also a volunteer fireman. He just loved being outside, loved life. He um, loved golfing, fishing, hunting. He um, sadly passed away about 19 months ago from an opioid overdose. He was 23 years old. So from that, what inspired you to create Richardson's Angels? Well, at my son's service, the pastor included in the sermon how we need to focus on not just why, but what. Not why did this happen, but what can we do to help others? So along with my sister, Nancy, we came up with Richardson's Angels hoping to help others. So if you would, tell us a little bit more of the specifics. Richardson's Angels, tell us about them. Well, they're fun, happy angels. They, um, really to make you smile. I want this to be a happy thing. We have a perfect angel that actually has a perfect halo. We have a getting there angel that actually has um, the halo tilted a little bit to the side. And we have I'm getting there angel, which is actually my favorite because the, um, the halo was hanging from the angel's arm. We also do crosses. Um, and of course, they all have a pearl on it. And they um, are from Beaufort. All the oyster shells are here from Beaufort County. Wow. Now, by creating Richardson's Angels, uh, please let everyone know what exactly you're doing to give back and help others. How does this connect? Well, like I said, I had to have my what. And we are donating 30% of the proceeds of the sales to two organizations that we partnered with. I have Lock Your Meds, which is um, created by the National Family Partnership. And their focus is to let families know how important it is to have your medications locked up. And they're also a mission is to keep children safe, happy, and of course drug free. The second um, organization is a National Volunteer Fire Council. Since my son was a volunteer fireman, he was quite honored to be a volunteer fireman, 30% um, of the proceeds could go to that as well. And that um, would go to a volunteer fireman that has had a disaster in his life or his family. Well, Coca, unfortunately we are out of time, but thank you so much for stopping by and telling us about this very, very important cause, and certainly thank you for starting it. Thank you very much for your time.